Can we grow forever? Can we have infinite growth when we live on a finite planet? This question is old. It goes back to the 19th century economist Thomas Robert Malthus and what is today known as the Malthusian trap. He believed that the world was forever doomed to subsistence level living because we have a finite capacity to grow food. Quote, the power of population is so superior to the power of the earth to produce substance for man that premature death must in some shape or other visit the human race. What Thanos failed to realize was that technological progress outpaced our population growth. Since his book was published in 1798, the population has increased eightfold, but production has increased 90-fold. So, is economic growth unlimited? This depends. Long-run growth is only limited by our imagination. It is ideas that is the primary source of long-run economic growth. We have finite resources, we have a finite atmosphere, we have a finite amount of land on the planet, so long-run growth can't come from there. It can only come from using existing resources in greater and greater productivity. Ideas are unlimited, and ideas need to be the source of long-run growth. Let's talk about the environment and some successes we've seen so far. In 1850, 900 million acres of the United States was forested. Unsustainably, this fell dramatically to 700 million acres by the turn of the century. However, in the 100 years since, the number of forested acres in the United States remains the same, despite drastic increases in the population of the country. Not everything is solved, of course. There's still some serious concerns about old-growth forests. That's not a renewable resource source, those take centuries and centuries to create and therefore need to be preserved. But in terms of sustainably harvesting lumber and building enough structures to house hundreds of millions of people, we have figured out how to do it without deforestation. A more recent concern is the quantity of CO2 emissions. Many countries have decoupled economic growth from CO2 emissions, even if we take offshoring production into account. In the red, we have GDP per capita, and we can see since 1990, most developed countries have seen significant economic growth. And in the orange, if we look at consumption-based CO2 per capita, so this orange measure would include any emissions that were produced in other countries but consumed in these developed countries. Notice something. The orange line has been negative since around 2005 for nearly all these countries. That's right, the US had peak consumption emissions in around 2008. So despite the economy growing, we are doing so with less emissions than we had before. In fact, the United States is emitting at the same levels that we saw in the 1970s, despite the fact that our economy is over twice as big. Again, we need to do a whole lot more, but this is strong evidence that we can innovate and have the capacity to do so. There is a lot of debate around the idea of endless growth versus degrowth and what is better for the environment. Should we grow forever? And the counter argument asks, why don't we use technological progress to improve standard of living without using more resources? As technology progresses, new resources are also discovered. So take the meme here. Sometimes resources are finite. Scientists debate today whether or not the humans killed off the mammoths or whether it was simply changes in the climate from 10,000 years ago. The Romans would have said no infinite wine in a finite empire. Today we grow more wine than we've ever grown before. No infinite horses on a finite step. No infinite grain in finite colonies with a little mouth is down there. And today, no infinite resources on a finite planet. Not only do we grow more grain than we've ever grown before, but we figured out how to do so by using less and less resources. And while there has been miraculous progress over the past 200 years, given a responsible institutional framework, one can be optimistic about the sustainability of the next 200 years. Mm -hmm.